What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhymestyle here, and today I bring you some Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Fighters discussion, I guess, for a yeah. brand new game that was just yeah. announced or re leaked, released, leaked. Yeah. And, and I'm talking about Jada Dassey. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one to talk about. So this is our first impression, first reaction outside of the news that dropped yesterday to kind of cover the facts of what we know about this so far, because there's very little known. But I'm sure we'll have a trailer at E3 as well as more information. This is a game. It's going to be a competitive Dragon Ball Fighter. Featuring a 2.5D system where it's basically 2D with elements of 3D. Not really sure what that means yet, but uh, we'll find out, I guess, when we see actual gameplay of the game in a couple of days. It's coming out for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and is being made by Arc System Works, who are the people behind Guilty Gears and Blast Blue. Now, before we start, they did work on Extreme Botoden, but it wasn't completely them. From my understanding, when they when Extreme Botoden was worked on, it was like a split between Arc System Works and someone else. But this game right now is completely work made by these guys, so it's going to be competitive. It's gonna be a drama game that's competitive and that's very, very exciting. With that said, this is all we know. There's a 3v3 system. That's literally it. <laughs> Until we see <laughs> gameplay and trails, it's kind of tough to kind of talk about and speculate what's in the game. But all we know is it's a 3v3 system. But to kind of confirm, or I guess to talk about what that actually means, 3v3 doesn't mean three players. It's not gonna be like 3v3 like in Dragon Ball Z Universe or Battle of Z, ill. When I say 3v3, they're talking about similar to what Marvel vs. Capcom had, where you know you, you pick three characters and they can kind of cycle in and out of characters and then you know. Stop out your opponent. This is one of those, but it's not gonna be the all cool three thing, characters. And the cool thing about that was what uh, one of the little snippets, the one little insight we got is that, uh, or at least they hinted at the fact that based on whatever your team is, like whoever the characters on your team is, will determine like it's going to affect the gameplay a little bit. Whether that's like tag team moves or like whether you have oh, better definitely. offense or defense or something like that. So they did yeah. give us that little snippet as well. So based on the coordination of the team of three that you pick, it's gonna like change the outcome of the. The fight. Oh yeah, no, I could definitely see 3v3s, uh, well not 3v3s, but picking certain teams and having certain ultimates together. Because the thing about this game is, I'm not gonna lie, I, I've known about this, and this is going to be very much, it's gonna be like watching the anime unfold in front of your eyes, which I think is really cool. I'm still kind of skeptical to see how that actually works, but from how they have it on paper and from, you know, what they show of the game so far, which is only a screenshot, it looks like a really cool idea. Now, with any new game, there's always the fear that this could flop. We got Battle of Z once, and we also got Ult Ultimate Tank Aichi once as well, and those were really, really dark times. But honestly, I have a lot of confidence in Arc System Works because they gave us Guilty Gears and Blast Blue, which are games that have been around for decades. Like, they know how to make a fighting game. And also, the person who leaked the information also mentioned that Bandai is interested in going to EVO with this, which is weird because it's always been kind of a meme, like an anime game at EVO, like that would never happen. But with a game like this that actually has a competitive scale, it could very well happen. And in fact, I can see the fighting game community, not the anime game community, but the fighting game community, you know, the people who play Tekken, Street Fighter, yada, 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 spill into this game and kind of like pick it up. And I think that'd be exciting. And Danny, can you imagine how dope that would be seeing this at EV, at EV, at, uh, <laughs> at Evo on like the big screens and stuff? That'd be really, really dope. That's, like, what's, that's what's going to be hyped. Like that, and that was, that was kind of one of my points too, is that like this game initially, it might not be as big as other Dragon Ball Z games because there might be some people out there, and I talked about this a little bit in my video, but there might be some people out there who are, you know, just those casual Dragon Ball Z players that like to play the more uh, likened to a Dragon Ball Z, like, scene, where you're, like, uh -huh. flying around a 3D world, you're creating your own characters, all that kind of stuff, whereas now there's probably going to be a much higher skill ceiling uh, oh, yeah. than we've a seen much higher. before a much higher. in a Dragon Ball Z game. There's going to be a lot more to learn. It's not going to be like if you learn one character, you're probably just going to be able to pick up and play with all the other characters. There's going to be different combos and things like that. So hopefully that doesn't turn too many people off. I'm sure that most people are still going to buy it because it, it says Dragon Ball in the name. So there's going to be a lot of people that buy it for that. Uh, but I think that it once everything kind of shifts over and the game's been out for a little bit, we're going to see a much different audience playing this game than we've seen play the previous games yeah. of late. And that's, that's a good thing because that's overall going to grow the community in the right way. Because the thing is, is over the last, I want to say decade of Dragon Ball games, Bandai has kind of dumbed it down because they focus more on the casual player as opposed to the competitive player. And with that, games that have been coming out have been lacking in, as far as, you know, uh, skill gaps and skill ceilings and stuff like that. For example, to kind of describe what you're going to get with Dragon Ball Z Fighters, or I guess Dragon Ball Fighters, because it's not really just Dragon Ball Z anymore, it's just it's Dragon Ball Fighters. What you're going to get with Dragon Ball Fighters is it's not going to be like Xenoverse. In Xenoverse, as long as you play as one character and play decently with that one character, it's easy to go from another character to another character to another character and kind of understand how they play. There's still a level of mastery. Like, you can't just pick up, you know, someone like Hit and then pick up Goten and still go into the online world and just destroy everybody. However, if you know the basics of Xenoverse, you can kind of hold your own against any player in the online version of the game. However, with a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, you actually have to learn. 
For example, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys play Guilty Gears and Blast Blue, and if you do, come out right now and let me know in the comment section below because you can actually have a better insight on what it's like to switch from character to character. It's like right now I've been playing Tekken, actually Danny as well. We've both been playing a lot of Tekken, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have as well. And you probably already understand that if you are good with one Tekken character, it doesn't necessarily mean you're good with another Tekken character. You kind of have to go back and play. Like, with a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, you'll be able to pick it up and kind of like learn the basics, you know, like, you no know, movement, jumps, and like the dynamicness of the game. However, this is one of those games where you'll have to literally dig into every single character and learn the basics and the, the masteries and, and how every character moves and how every character interacts with another character. And that's what I love. This is an actual skill level that you have to get used to, and that's what excites me the most about this game. I mean, for stars, this is a new Dragon Ball game. Every time we get another one that's new to the franchise, it's exciting, and it sucks because it's so little we can talk about right now just because we don't have <laughs> any gameplay and stuff like that. However, it is going to be at E3, and I'm actually pretty sure it's going to be even playable at E3 from how they made it sound because it's, yeah. they're, they're kind of setting up for like a big push. Let's, let's say that, a big push. <laughs> and I mean, there, there, are, there, are a few, there are a few things that we can't address that I know people are already talking about as far as like what they're mentioning like in tweets and things, to me at least. Uh -huh. uh, the roster is not going to be nearly as big as what we've seen in Xenoverse games and things like that. Well, we like don't know that. that for sure yet. I, I, I don't well, I want to talk about that yet. I mean, put it this uh, way. I doubt it will be Tenkaichi 3. Let's just, let's just point that that's, out right now. That's what I mean. There might be a well-versed list of characters because like most quote unquote real fighting games have a fairly small pool of characters compared to a game like Xenoverse. However, Marvel vs. Capcom does have a very kind of broad character list. Uh -huh. But my point is, I don't think we're going to have like hundreds. Like, how many how many different variations are in Xenoverse? Like 180 or something wild? Something like, like that. that, a lot. I don't know. It's, it's something crazy. So it's probably not going to be that big. There might be some characters that are going to get left off. Um, and then there's yeah, you, you're not gonna get your Frieza soldiers in this game. I, I, I really yeah, don't like think that's because they're probably not gonna make that much sense. And the other thing uh, is, I've seen a few people being like, "Well, are we gonna be able to make our own characters?" No. And the most, the most customization that they would be able to give you is to like swap out outfits or anything like that, because you can't in a game that is inherently competitive and has to be constantly balanced to make sure that nothing becomes more OP than the other thing. You can't really allow people to create their own characters because then you well, are it's effectively. Not even just, it's not even just that. The other thing, the reason why customization wouldn't work as well in a game like this is because in Xenoverse is basically just polygons. You know, you had the polygons and you can just basically pack any skin to that and allow customization to be a thing. But this is like, this is like hand drawn almost. Well, not hand drawn, but you you know what I'm saying. It's like an anime version of it. So I think that if we do get any kind of customization, the best thing we'll get will be like color swaps and stuff like that, maybe clothing and things like that. But even then, I, I don't think it's going to be a big of focus because like Xenoverse was more aimed at a casual audience, and for what Xenoverse was, it was a great game. It still is a great game. It's got its problems. It's not perfect, but for what it is, it is a solid game. A game like Dragon Ball Fighters is not aimed at a more hardcore audience in a uh, different group of people. I mean, I feel like the average Dragon Ball player will be able to pick it up and enjoy it. But it also gives enough room for growth for where somebody who loves fighting games can really dig into it and find out some crazy combos. And, and like I said, if, if it's going to be an EVO, which is what their goal is, that shows you how much of a different game this already is than Xenoverse. So th there's a lot. There's a lot to expect. And again, it's, it's, it sucks to talk about this so early without only having with only having like two screenshots. But trust me, this is going to be very, very different but right, in, but, in a but good based, way. But based off of those two screenshots, who's your main though? Ah, you know what? I, I got I gotta go with Frieza. Actually, it's funny because I do <laughs> I do want to get good with Frieza. Frieza's always been one of my favorite characters in the Dragon Ball games. Period. I did not like what they did with them in the Xenoverse series for some reason. I, it just it just didn't feel right. And I'm hoping that they do Frieza right in this game because I definitely want to pick him up. He's one of my favorite villains, so I want to be able to pick him up and master and just kind of you know do what Frieza does best. But again, it's not about maining a character because you have to main three characters. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> That's the other funny thing. It's like, you know, learning one character is one thing, but you also have to learn how to use everybody as a team. Because the thing about Marvel vs. Capcom 3, to those who did play it, it wasn't about just mastering one character. You have to figure out the right time to tag in, the right time to kind of jump in for support and do all that stuff. And that's what's going to make this game so interesting. And overall, I'm just really, really excited about it. So is there anything else you want to toss into this before we end this? Uh, no, just one more quick thing. I mean, I saw a couple people, um, I saw this several times. It was like, uh, there better be super characters in this or I'm not buying it. Um, we, I mean, we obviously, we know nothing about the roster other than the 
four characters that you can see for sure on the screenshot, maybe six, because I think it's Gohan and Vegeta as well, which those are obviously going to be in the game. Yeah, it was Gohan uh, and Vegeta in the screenshot. We don't know one way or the other whether a super character is going to be in there or not, but I will imagine that there are probably going to be some super characters in there. I the game doesn't come out until early next year. <laughs> With that said, <laughs> that's all about, that's the only tease I'm going to give you, because the trailer should be coming out fairly soon, and once we see that in actual gameplay, it'll be a lot easier to kind of sit down and talk about it. But for now, initial thoughts, initial fears, initial expectations, drop that down below. Danny, anything else? Nah, you good. All right, with that said, we hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Jaden Tastic and Rhyme Style discussing Dragon Ball Fighters. When we get more information, we will let you guys know. So let us know what you are thinking down below. Leave a like if you have fun, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.